In this exercise, you'll add labels across surface contours. You will place individual labels manually and a series of labels automatically using the AutoCAD polylines as a guide. Note that this exercise uses the surface-3 drawing with the modifications you made from the previous exercise. Let's start by clicking on the View tab. Now in the Name Views panel, go ahead and click this drop-down menu and click on Surface Labels. See how we have three different circles right here? We're going to use these as a reference. On the command line, go ahead and type in PL for polyline and click the center of the first circle, the circle of the second, and then the third. What we're going to do is we're going to use this polyline as a guide for our labels. Next, go up to the Annotate tab and click on the Add Labels. We'll get this little Add Labels dialog box right here. And then click on the drop down menu, click Surface, and then for label type, rather than slope, let's select contour multiple. Because by doing this, this will automatically add multiple labels to our contours. We'll go ahead and leave all of our defaults and click Add. Notice down at the bottom in our command line, it's asking us to specify the first point or objects. What we want to do is we want to select objects and select our polyline. So go ahead and click on objects or you can type in O and then press enter. Next, the command line asks us if we want to erase the original entities, meaning do we want to delete our guideline. I'm going to go ahead and click yes. Go ahead and zoom in and select the polyline. Press enter and there you have it. All of our contour labels are now shown along our guide. This method of surface labeling is useful when you want to lay out the path of surface contour labels before you actually create the labels. But what if I wanted to create the path and labels simultaneously without first drawing a polyline? Let's go ahead and do that. Go back into your Add Labels dialog box right here. Let's go ahead and erase what we created originally and then go ahead and click Add. Instead of selecting objects, we're going to specify the first point, which would be the center of the first circle, then the second, then the third. So essentially it accomplishes the same thing. But what about spot elevations? How do we go about showing that on our surface? We'll go back into our dialog box right here. We want to stay on surface. We want to change our label type to spot elevation. For right now, let's keep the defaults for spot elevation style and marker style. Go ahead and click Add. And just pick a point right here along the ridge. Next, it asks us for another point. Instead, I'd like to change the elevation label style to something different. Let's change it to foot meter. Go ahead and click along the ridge again, and then we get a totally different spot elevation style. So that's how you label a surface in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.